uh, unmet needs, right, between the parents and the children uh, regarding screen time and what they want from it, need from it, and expect, you know, to have with it. Uh, so having a conversation with your family about what do you, what do you want your screen time to be about? What do you want it to be used for? What do you want it to involve in terms of devices? Um, how much time uh, do you, the parents and your children expect to have with the screen time of their choice? And I think having a conversation about what are healthy limits that you can agree on as a family. So I think when you talk about screen time, it's really important to just look at your own household as a community. So for your family community, what do you want that family community uh, vibe to be around screen time? You know, so have a really curious conversation with your kids about, you know, what your family thinks about different devices and technology and the types of screen time that you each enjoy engaging with and why. So that that way you all understand what it is that you each want from the screen time in your household. And that will help you to guide how to schedule that appropriately so that you're not getting um, too much sensory overload if you're sensitive to that you're not being distracted or overstimulated. Um, there's some clear expectations about what the limits and the, and the guidelines are for each of you. And parents, we have to be respectful and present to the fact that we cannot tell our kids to get off the computer if you're sitting there on Instagram on your phone. I mean, I feel like that's a no brainer, but you'd be surprised. It's happened in our household before. So, um, Anywho, I just want to mention, I think it's possible to enjoy mindful screen time. So screen time doesn't have to be mindless. There's a lot of really quality programming out there that we, I think, can feel really good about engaging with our kids. So if screen time is something that scares you, the idea of how much they're watching or how much they are uh, using devices, playing games, things of that nature, because obviously screen time is a much bigger, broader conversation. But I'm just going to take a little piece of it today, which is to say, you know, find, uh, let's say that it's television right? Watching TV or movies or YouTube videos, let's just say. Uh, and let's say that your child is like an elementary school age, somewhere between uh, kindergarten and fifth grade. I'm just taking a quick snapshot. Um, you would want to allow that child to be mindful about their screen time. So you might watch the show they're watching with them, at least for a few minutes, just to get a sense of it. And then engage in mindful conversation about what they're watching. Like, why do you like that show? Tell me more about it. What was the character that, you know, what, what character do you like the best? Um, what was the best episode? Um, do you like the colors used in this, in this show or, you know, movie? Um, do you, you know, ask mindful questions and engage in mindful conversation about the screen time that your child wants in their life? Because then you can connect over something that used to be a source of disconnect. So there are ways for us to manage screen time with boundaries and limit setting and you know, conscious communication about what we all want and need from our screen time, you know, uh, and when we're going to engage in it. And that's really a family community conversation. So what works for one family might not work for another, depending on your schedule and depending on your child. So um, just something to think about. I love the idea of taking something that we used to think of as mindless and finding ways to bring mindfulness to it and to engage with each other mindfully around it. So have an amazing day and thank you for joining me on Jamie Magic. And we'll talk more about this topic and get really specific with it as we go. Have a wonderful rest of your day.